Hello Super Series, and today we're going to mainly be focused on creating oversized time signatures in Finale, uh, but just some quick updates. The new keyword Maestro 9 came out. I'm still getting my head around all the new updates, so next week I'll be posting a video all on how this can uh, change your workflow and like other cool things you do with the new keyboard Maestro update. Also, uh, the long-awaited Perfect Layout plugin is finally available for public use. It is out of beta testing and you can buy it right now. Though I didn't make this plugin at all, I can see it being a very useful plugin for many Finale users, so definitely check that out. And now back to creating oversized time signatures in Finale. So this is often used in commercial music, that way players can actually see what the time signature is really easily and they're not really fishing for it. Unlike this, where it's a bit harder to see on first glance. And so everything we're going to do is in the document options. And first we want to go over here to fonts and we want to go down to time signature in score under the notation drop down menu. Set font and for the first one we're just going to use a standard Maestro font. So we're going to set the font size to 36. Hit OK and hit apply and you will see that now the time signatures are bigger but they're not quite lined up correctly. So to do that then all you have to do is go down here to time signatures and under the score for the top symbol do 0.5 spaces and for the bottom symbol do negative 0.5 spaces as well and hit apply and now it's correctly vertically aligned and we have oversized time signatures in Maestro font and you can apply that to your document style so that way they're in every single document but that is slightly different than what I had over here for the parts now this uses the engraver font instead of Maestro font and I found that that actually works a lot nicer because it's a lot easier to read than Maestro font this looks a bit more cluttered than this. So to use engraver font we're going to do a similar process. We'll go over here to fonts under the notation drop down. We select time in the score and for size this time we're going to use 28. That's because in general engraver tends to be a bit larger than Maestro and then instead of Maestro we're going to select engrave. We're going to go down here to engraver text T. Hit OK and then if we hit apply, we should see that the font has changed. However, it's not vertically centered like we wanted to. So to fix that, again, we're gonna come here to time signatures and then do negative one space and negative two spaces and hit apply. And now it's properly centered and we have engraver time signatures. So that is a nice, easy, quick tip to creating oversized time signatures in Finale. And you may also want to check out my video on the dead on the past on how to create large time signatures for more of like conductor scores. So I'll link to that in the description. And then last final thing, thank you to all you guys subscribing. We finally hit 200 subscribers about a week and a half ago. So thank you for that. And for those of you who aren't subscribers, feel free to hit the subscribe button because each week I post new content about how to use Finale to its fullest. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those videos, do hit the subscribe button down below.